guys, this workshop is all about setting up blogs. So this workshop is from the Complete Guide to Zenla. So these are basically done in series in this Ask Zenla. So I thought it'd be quite useful to put this up on the YouTube channel, just in case any of you are not in the Complete Guide to Zenla, then you can view how to set up your blog. So I'll be going into a bit more detail about everything as we go along the workshop. So I hope you enjoy this guys, and this is all about Zenla blogs. Guys, in this workshop, we're going to look at blogs. Okay, so we've got blogs integrated into the Zenda platform, which means that we can set up blog posts that appear nicely on a page, and then you can click through to those. We can also put um, featured images in there, turn that off and on, and we can set up categories, do SEO for it, and also add commenting uh, via some of the commenting plugins like Facebook or Disk. So uh, let's jump into the site and have a look at where the blog is. So once you're in your site dashboard, uh, if you click site, you're going to see that you have this new option here called blog. I'm going to click blog and you can see we have no blogs enabled. So if we look at a note here, it says once you enable blogs, surfdudes.newzenla.com forward slash blog URL will list in your site blog. So we're going to click enable blog. Okay. and here we go so we are on the first page first thing to have a look at probably is going to be the settings we have no blog so we can't view a blog so under the settings here this is the name of the title of our page for the blog and you can see here this is the blog description as well we put in there now you don't need to put this in there you you could actually put it straight in the page as you're going to see because if you look down here we've got blog home page and this is the home page of our blog uh, this is a blog post page you're going to see a post um, a little bit of code in there because that will automatically post the name and title of the blog into that page so it's one page and it just basically fills with all the blog posts that you have individually okay so you can enable blog there um, so you could turn it off completely even if you've got blogs in there you could turn that off completely by hitting that button and you can also show post created dates well lots of people don't like the date on there but if you want the date of that blog post if you regularly post then you might want to turn that on and you can do that there okay now we've got the SEO settings for the blog page so before I move on let me just show you the blog page as we have it at the moment so I'm going to come into here and we're going to just go in and you can see now if I refresh my page I have a blog here so you can either paste the URL in there or you can click blog so this is our blog page now we've got nothing in here but you're going to notice in the page in the page that we've actually got categories here so we can select categories once we set them up we can also search our blog for blog posts and when we start creating our blogs they will appear down below here so this is the main header and if you look at this this says blog and then it says still on the fence so if we jump back here if you look up here blog still on the fence so that actually basically automatically fills from there so I'm going to change this quickly I'm going to put surf dudes blog and then I'm going to put latest tips and tricks in an easily digestible format and then welcome to surf dudes blogs just put that in there now watch this once I save this update okay we're going to then jump to our blog post and we're going to see those changes okay let's go to our page and hit the refresh button and here we go so now I've got surf dudes blog latest tips and tricks easy digestible format great so that looks all good in there now we can remove all of this um, when we go into the page to edit it so that's what we're going to do now we're going to go into editing page so this is just looking at settings for the blog page so we're looking at a settings in blog and we're looking at the actual blog page itself so if you look down here we've got this blog post and you can click edit page and that's just going to open you up into page builder which you're very accustomed to so you can make changes inside this blog page now uh, the actual blog content is contained in the dynamic block so it just self fills okay so here we are we have this post so I'm going to click settings here I'm going to change this out I'm going to swap this for one of my images 
uh, one of my surfy images let's choose that one and I'll, what I'll do is I'll use a background overlay and I'm just going to change it to a white in here just so it stands out okay so like for the um, blog post in here itself I'm going to change some of this as well because I want this I don't even know if I want a border if I don't want a border I can just go like this none pretty easy but I, I don't mind that border it's not bad um, I might go and you can increase or decrease it I might go and change it to a white let's click in settings for here and change a few of these bits around so I don't like that I'm gonna get rid of it so there we go so that's it we've set our page up so this stuff here is all there are some settings in here that you can change certain things and change the color of this so if I wanted it to be like a kind of a lighter color I can put that in there and I can click save and this is my new blog page set up so we've got a we notice also the blog page we've got SEO on here so we can put some um, SEO into that page so I might just grab that copy from there jump back type that in there do some meta keywords um, surf dudes and then surfing skills surfing clubs these kinds of things surfing training surfing online training and down the line skills something like that so social media image of course you'll put that in there as well we might as well I'll grab something like that click done okay so that's all good right okay so we've looked at this main blog page now we have the blog post page as well so let's have a look at that quickly so I'm going to go into edit and this is going to give us the blog post page now the blog post page basically will just contain the content don't worry it doesn't say blog post content here um, this is basically just a box that will fill out with your content but you can put in extra blocks if you want to um, so you can you can also come into here and do some alignment things add some background colors if you want to do underneath the blog post um, you can do lots of things in here I suggest you put some blog posts in and then start playing around with it but that is basically the blog actual the post of the blog that's where it will appear in this page so we've got full editability over the site template of this and then our content gets filled out inside it okay so I've talked about show post creation date uh, I've shown about enabling the blog turn it off and on you've also got SEO settings down here for the actual page as well which you can put in if you want to so maybe copy it across from here and just click in there grab this copy oh, copy copy come into there obviously put your metas in there social image let's go to social image grab one from the library um, got one there I think I'll select that or you can upload a new one there we go so we got something like this going on now so that's just spelt wrong should put that right and it's not a bad idea to put your actual URL under the bottom like that okay click update fabulous so that is the blog settings so back into blog now so we looked at the blog settings view blog just takes you straight to the blog page so this is the newly created page that we just did and now we've got to look at creating a new blog post and we're going to do that in the next workshop welcome to this workshop so in this workshop what we're going to create is a new blog post so let's go ahead and create a new one now this first blog post is going to be on um, beginners beginners skills right or beginners um, subjects so I'm going to come in here post and as soon as you do that create blog post you're going to then come up with your blog post title now I always think that it's a really good thing to make sure that it's kind of like aimed at what people would type in so um, like how do I get better at surfing so as a beginner how do I start 
surfing. Okay, so something like that. That's something that someone might type into uh, Google, so or any of the other search engines. So that could be a good starting block for us. So you've got a post description down here, you can put short post description. So I'm not going to bore you by actually typing this out. I'm going to pause the video whilst I write this post description. So here we go. Um, I've just put a quick uh, bit of information in here. As a beginner, it's hard to know where to start when taking up surfing. Don't worry, follow our blog and join our membership and we will get you surfing. So that's it. So there is a certain amount of characters that you can use in this area. So be very careful of that. Um, so let's create this now. So let's go and create. Uh, by the way, there's also a set number of characters that you can use inside of the title as well. So let's click create. Now we will have created the post. So we've got the post is started. So let's go over what these are. Here is the URL that's been generated from the title. You can change this in here. We could go and change this. No problem. Um, might change that to capital I. Um, You've also got the author there, which you could, if you've got more authors in there, you can assign them as new authors in there. We've also got cat category as well. Now this is quite good because we've got no results at the moment. So we're going to create a new category. Um, beginners to surfing. I think that's quite a nice one. And I'm going to hit enter. Okay. So as soon as you hit enter and you see that go gray, you've set the category up. All right. So you could add more here. You could do an advanced guide to surfing if you wanted to um, that's not right that's better and So as soon as you've typed out your next tag, you can hit enter and that will have been set up. Now, um, you might want things in multiple categories. So that's why we've allowed you to do this. Now, next time you create a look, um, blog post, you'll be able to click in that box and beginner's guide to surfing and advanced guide to surfing will come up. Now, if you need to get rid of any of these, you can click here just to get rid of it. OK, and then it won't be entered. So the only one we've got at the moment is beginners, beginners to surfing. So we can click update and that will update it uh, that will take us on to the next page so I want to go back to that page again so you don't need to hit update until the end but I like to do it as I'm going along just in case my internet breaks or the system crashes so I like to do it as I'm going so first one is we've got a blog image let's go in here and put a blog image in here and there we go we can crop this in here so let's just set this all nicely in here and click crop and save so I just found an oversized image and I just cropped it inside the system. Okay, the set size for this, by the way, is 1000 by 500. So if you if you are actually using an image editing program or using Canva or something, just make sure you set those sizes up as 1000 by 500 pixels. Okay. Okay, so now we've done that. We've got the title, we've got a post description, we've got the URL in there, we set up a category. Now we're going to write a blog post in here. So this is a simple WYSIWYG editor where we can do lots of changes and things. So I'm just going to just um, sort of begin it for you. And I'm going to grab a part of that content and put it in here. And I just want to show you some of the things you can do in here. So if we go ready to learn to surf. I want to make this nice and big so I'm going to select it and you're going to notice in here that we can actually go through and change the font sizes so I can go in here and I can choose a bigger font size for this so maybe I choose a 20 point or something um, you can also use HTML in here if you're an HTML guru um, you can format this as well so there's formatting choices for H1 or H2 H2 is a good one like that and um, you could still go ahead and override the, override the size if you wanted to as well. Um, down here, you've got to make things bold. So if I select some text, make it bold. Yeah. And you can also italicize it as well. So I'll just turn those off. 
Um, you can also do strike throughs as well. So there's a strike through and turn it off that way. And you can create lists in here as well. So if I was to create a list in here, I could select this and I could create a list type, just unordered. And then every time I click down here, I'll have a new one. To get out of it, you can click one, you can uh, click again. So basically, if you do a carriage return or an enter, if you do an enter again, it will get out of the list. Okay, just so you know. And also to turn this off, if you select it and go back to the list, then you can just turn that off in there by clicking that ordered list again. Uh, also inside here, we can drop images in and we can drop tables. We can put links in here as well. So if you've got a link to a course or something, you can come in here and go insert link and then I could put something like um, surfdudes.com and you can also then just hit that and then that will give you a link in there like that now to get rid of the link you can just go and select the link and you can just go unlink and there we go so we have text color as well so we can go over this and choose a new color for this if we want to do something like that yeah you can press Control Z to go back as well on the keyboard. Hold the Control, press Z, and it goes back one. So we can also choose the size there, which you already look at. This is the alignment as well. So if we wanted to align things differently, we could align this center. Um, we could align it right, justify, or align left. Now inside here, we have full screen as well. So this is quite handy for doing blogs. If I click this, it just goes nice and big for us. So we can really start to work with it. As soon as you need to close that up, you can just hit there to close it up. So I'm gonna add a bit more text in here and then I'm gonna come back and show you how to drop some images in there. Okay guys, so I've written a quick uh, blog post, not a particularly long one, but it's got lots of nice little content in there for people to uh, follow along with. So now we've done that, I'd like to drop in a few images. It's really easy inside here. I'm actually going to do my images um, right aligned, okay? So the text flows around it. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to drop a cursor in here. And I'm just going to go and grab an image in here. So I'm going to click image and I'm going to go into choose because I've got access to my library here. So I'm just going to choose this image here. And you're going to notice that it's well oversized. Um, sometimes it's quite a good idea to go full screen with this stuff. Uh, because then you can see it and if you click in here what you're going to notice is you can actually click and you can edit um, this if you want to I find that this is when I click this is better if I click it in this size because then I can go ahead and grab those little squares appear so I'm bringing this down in size that's about right then I'm going to click edit and I'm going to go for position I'm going to go right so I want it to go over to the right with the text to go around it so let's click right and then click save and there you go we got a lovely little image in there so I'm going to drop one um, I'll drop another one in so you can set this to whichever side you want if I click edit again I could actually set this to be centered or left position let's click save see it's gone to the left and I want it to be to the right though so I'm going to just do right you can do it to the center as well if you want to so I'm going to drop another image in down here, kind of area, and I go and choose another image. So let's go and choose something like uh, Jace. I always like this one. And click that one. This is quite a long one, actually. So I don't like that. I'm going to delete it. I'm going to drop a new image in. And let's go and grab the full size image. There it is click once in there get that little dot appear so you can bring it down in size I just check it in comparison to that one and then I'm going to click on this image again go to edit and I'm going to position this to the right and click Save okay let's have a look make sure it's about the right size looks good and now we've dropped some images in there so you can drop images in there you can do pretty much anything you want in that area and I'll bring that up a bit as well just a little bit out and that looks good so as my blog post is done so I'm going to click update okay so now it's going to take us on to the settings which is here so you can go back to that blog post bit if you need to change anything or you can click settings there and go forwards so the first one we got here is show featured image on post now this is the featured image is going to be this image here that you uploaded okay so if you want to turn that off you can turn it off in here and I'll, I'll show you that in a second we've also got the SEO settings so you can come in here and you can put all your SEO and your keywords in there and you can also drop the social media 
image in for that as well. So if I go to my library, I can just pick one of these again. Um, maybe not that one. Uh, let's go and select. Let's select my Surf Dudes one here. That'll do. So there he is. That is dropped in. And you can see the text is appearing in here as well. You can put your keywords in here. So I probably put beginner to surfing, comma. How do I start surfing? Surf dudes, surf dudes surfing. Well, it's something like that. So that's my SEO kind of set up there. And you'll notice that if you add more text in here, it will appear in here as well. So you could add more to that if you want to. So next thing we've got on this page, and the last thing is custom code. Now we're going to come to this in a new lecture because I'm just going to finish this off. Custom code is where we can put commenting in and stuff. So now I've got my blog post done. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit update. So this is now the blog post settings have been updated successfully, but notice we haven't published it yet. So if we come into our blog page and we hit the refresh button, you're not going to see anything down here because we haven't published it. So we can publish it now and go into it. I'm going to click publish post. Currently site maps are not auto updated. So this is telling you that you need to update your site map whenever you create a post. So we're going to do that. So let's click close to this first of all. We've, unpub we've published it now so I can quickly check and then we're going to create the sitemap for it. So there we go there and it's appeared. So that's fabulous in there and what I'll do now is I will go and create the sitemap for it. So I'm going to jump out of this now, I'm going to go to site, I'm going to go to sitemap and all you need to do is recreate the sitemap. You're going to get another page come up and we're going to click OK. And now our sitemap has been created, so we've recreated it. So if we now jump back into blogs, you're going to see we have a new post there, and it's showing in the page as well, like so. So I need to change these colors as well. So that's how we create a blog post. Now let's go and have a look at the blog post. I'm going to click in here, and you can see we've got social media share, we've got the big image here and then we've got these images down the side and you've got the category down there all looks very good and that is it so let me just show you now let's go back into the blog post and I'm going to turn a few things off I'm going to come into the settings for this blog post I'm going to turn featured image off okay I'm going to go and I'm going to update it down here bottom left and now when I come back to this and I hit the refresh button this image will not appear here there we go we got rid of it so that's what you can do there. So next thing is if I want the date on here, I'm going to come back to the blog settings and I'm going to come up to settings and I want the date. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to turn that on and I'm going to click update. Now we're going to go back to the post and look where we got here, this area. I'm going to hit the refresh and we're going to get the date come up here. There we go. Posted on. So we can put the date on and off, you can turn the featured image on and off as well. And that is how you can create and start creating your blog post. Now also notice that on the blog page, if we come down to the categories, we've got this category appearing in here. And we can also search the blogs in here as well. So let's move on now to the next part of this workshop. So now we've looked at the blog settings and we've looked at creating your first blog post. Uh, we're now going to look at adding some commenting on. So if we look at our blog post, it all looks lovely. And obviously as you click through, uh, we go to the page and that's all nice. But we can actually put in um, code into the bottom of the blog post. So if we go to the blog itself and then you go into settings, you're going to see that down here we have add custom HTML code. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop in a like and a commenting box for Facebook straight into here. So uh, guys it's not really covered but I'm going to kind of show you 
um, where you can go to do it for Facebook. There's lots of other commenting tools that you can grab code and you can put them straight in there. So I'm going to just run through that now. So what you want to do is go to developers.facebook.com forward slash docs forward slash plugins forward slash comments and we're looking for the comment block so it's a comment plugin so even if you google Facebook comments plugin you're going to get come to this page now remember you need to be logged in so log in and then we're going to set up our post so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and grab the URL for our page this particular page I'm going to paste this into here and I'm going to say the pixel width, which I'm going to put at about um, 700, okay? And the number of posts that we want to show, I'll just change that to 10. And then I'm going to click Get Code. Okay, so now I've got that code. I'm going to copy this, copy. I'm going to come into the blog here, and underneath Settings, down the bottom for this particular blog, I'm going to paste this in here. I'm going to hit Return once, jump back to here, and grab this text. Copy, copy. Jump back in here, paste it in and then we're going to click update and then we're going to have a look at the page so firstly I'm going to refresh this page and then at the bottom down here you're going to see that it appears so people can start to comment onto here onto the post so that's one thing let's go in now and try something else so I'm going to close this down and we're just going to do okay let's try some share you might have to try these on your own so let's try the share full code example URL to share let's go and grab the URL <clears throat> come in here let's do a large size for this so this is what you're going to get a share button um, button count okay I'm going to click get code I'm going to copy this I'm going to paste this in here copy this copy and paste this in here and click update now we should get a share button appear and there we go yeah okay so we've got a share button so um, you can play around with these but that's basically how you do it you can just put your code straight in line in there um, into the post and then you can get those to work so that's how to do that so again um, if you create new pages do remember to recreate the cache so it's going to site and then going across to the sitemap and then hitting that recreate sitemap make sure that you do that every time you add a page or post or even a course all those things just make sure you recreate your sitemap uh, to check it you can check your sitemap by copying this into a new browser window and just checking that your, all your URLs are visible on this thing and you'll see here that our blog post is actually on there as well okay so that is blogs for you so have fun with them uh, one last thing I want to talk about is categories in here so I'm going to set up a duplicate um, blog and show you about categories as well I'm going to look at that in the next workshop guys in this workshop what I want to show you about is categories and also how to clone um, your posts so if you go into site under blogs you have seen already how we can create a new post but on these posts that we've already got published we can come down here and we can actually clone or we can edit them then you can edit them quickly by just clicking here and it will take you straight into the page but if we want to clone it we can just click in here and we can click clone and this is going to set up a copy of it. Now it's going to be good if you're working on a template. So let's call this ready to learn surf 2 and let's put under here 2 just so that we can see a difference. In here I'm also going to put this into the URL and I'm going to put this into a different category. I'm going to do an advanced to surfing. So I'm going to put this create a new category. So I'm going to hit enter remember I can still add the other category to it if I want to you see they're both popping up so just to make it a bit different I'm going to change this uh, course image over so let's change it for something okay I'm just swapping it out for this image just so it looks a bit different okay good so now we've done that I'm going to click update it's going to take us to the last page which is this one so I'm just going to put two on the end of here I'm not doing anything majorly different and I uh, still got my code in there remember it's copied the code across when you clone it copies that custom code across as well um, if you've got it in there so now we've done that we can hit the publish post remember because um, I haven't 
done the site map for this I am going to have to go into site go to site map and recreate site map and that's all good so now I come into this and I go to blogs so now we're on the blogs page you can see we've got our lovely blogs all set up now a few things I want to tell you about this is under the categories here because we set up different category for the beginners start surfing and the um, start surfing 2 start surfing 2 is advanced and this beginners was the beginners so if I come in categories here and I just do beginners to surfing then only that one's going to appear because it's in that category the same applies for the advanced guide to surfing now um, there's something else we want to look at the URL up here because this is quite important because if you want to break your site up under blog have a drop down navigation or set up your own navigation you can actually use these categories so you can use this URL in here and have it just as the advanced guide and then you can have a link going straight to advanced guide and every time you put the, any of the blogs into advanced guide surfing they will appear here and they will go in and the same applies for beginners surfing as well so you can use those categories up here to actually set those in the menu now as well as all of this we also have the search functionality because of course these can get quite a lot of blogs in here and we could type in a certain part of it so let's just put two and just hit search and this one is the only one that will come up because it's the only one that's got two in it yeah so and we can turn that off there and search and then it will just bring them all up so this is really good um, for that so you can go in those blogs and you've got your lovely blog you've got your homepage blog and you know you've got all your commenting in there and shares and the blog page so what I want to do now is I just want to show you about that category thing so I'm going to do a category setup on the menu just for the advanced surfing so I'm going to click advanced surfing I'm going to grab this URL I don't need to grab it all, I just need to grab it from the .com, the end of your domain, so it's the forward slash to make it a relative link instead instead of an absolute link which is the whole thing. So this is relative to the site. So copy that, um, come into your site and we'll just go to any of our pages and I'll just go into one of these. Let's go to my membership page, well, that's the one there I think and I'll click edit so that doesn't really matter because I'm putting it in the menu and we're just going to set up a drop down menu in there that's going to go straight to that category so because a lot of you guys are going to want to break it into categories and not use it in filter in the thing you might just want to go straight into the category so this is a way that we can do this so let's wait for this to come up and there we go I'm going to go in there I'm going to go to the settings and across to the menu you notice the blogs come in there um, so we could if we wanted to do, delete that out I'm going to add a new one and we're just going to call this blog categories okay something like that and visible to all select an article I'm not going to select any action here I'm just going to do it as a drop down okay and I'm going to click save okay now I've got that as a drop down I'm going to add to that drop down I'm going to come in here we're going to call it advanced surfing okay and then we're going to select an action for that go to link we're going to drop that relative link in there and we're going to click save okay so i want to do a new one now for the other part of the page so i'm going to come in here and i'm going to go to the beginner's guide to surfing and we're going to grab that one grab that url url across here copy 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 back into the editor here I'm going to drop a new one in we're going to call this beginners guide to surfing I'm going to go to action I'm going to go to link I'm going to drop my link in there and I'm going to click save and now I'm going to click save to everything okay so I'm going to come out of this and I'm going to refresh this page and I should get a new blog categories page to come up so I'll just go to the home page show you how it's going to work come in here click this oh I want to go to beginners guide to surfing click that bang automatic appears in that category going to this one advances advanced surfing bang appears in that one so of course still in here you can still select and um, see them all and still go through the categories but you've also got this way in here now as I said you could remove that one if you wanted to so if you didn't want that one to appear at all you could go in and just change that menu at the top and take the 
blog part out of the menu so I could go into that and delete it out good so hopefully that's explained everything to do with blogs and what you can do and I think this is going to be of big interest to you for you to set categories up in there and just jump to that URL that you've got um, I think that's going to be of real help to you guys